how Rollermate created planetars from a flagged email. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a flow using a template to create a task planner from a flagged email. First of all, I'm going to click on create and here I can access a number of templates or click on templates to search templates directly. I'm looking to create a flow triggered by an email, so I'm going to type in Outlook and then I can search through the templates available. The template I'd like to use in this instance is Create Planner Tasks for Flagged Emails in Outlook 365. This uses Outlook 365, Office 365 users, and Planner. I can check which email account it is joined to. In this case, it's my SAGov account, but if I want to use my school's account, I can click on the three dots to change accounts and then click on continue. Once this is loaded, I need to do some editing of the flow to make it work. First of all, I'm going to change the name so that I know what this flow is about. And this is for my personal emails that I'm going to create tasks for. If I want to select a different folder, I can select a different folder. This is handy if I want to file emails in different folders and have the tasks being created in different buckets. Now I need to swap out the group ID and the plan ID. And for this to work, I need a planner board all ready to go. So I can use one that I create for this task or I could use an existing plan. I've created this one with some titles of common emails that I receive that I need to do task for. And I need to get the group ID, which can be found in the URL up the top, and also the plan ID. So I'm going to copy and paste that, and copy and paste the plan ID. Now I'm back in my flow, I'm going to put in the group ID first, and to do that I'm going to click on enter custom value, and then paste in that group ID. And then this should populate the plan ID field for me to choose a plan under this group. And it's the email task plan. Now I want my task to have a title which is the subject of the email. So I'm going to add some dynamic content. And I'm just going to scroll down until I find the subject. And then I can assign which bucket this goes in. So in this case, I'm going to put in general requests because this is in my inbox. For the start time, I want to put in the receive time of the email. And I can put in a due date if I'd like. This one is being assigned to me, so that's what that ID is in there, but you could assign it to different people. And I'm going to make these tagged as blue so that I know it's an Outlook generated task. And click on save. Once this is saved, I can then go ahead and test the flow. So I'm going to manually test this one and click test. And then over in my emails, I'm going to flag an email. And this will cause the flow to run. Now I can see that all three actions have got a tick next to them. And a task has been created in Planner for this particular email, which was titled Re-Article Expiry. And if I hop into my planner, I can see now that under the general request, there's re-article expiry that's popped in there. And then I can go ahead and modify that task and add a due date as necessary.